we now solve question number 6 from exercise 1.1 so shuru karte hain exercise 1.1 ka question number 6 bahut hi aasan sa sawal hai ye the question is what must be subtracted from each of 5 7 and 10 so that the resulting numbers are in continued proportion yani ki 5 7 and 10 mein se hame ek value subtract karni hai subtraction ke baad jo remainders bachenge they are in continued proportion. Now, continued proportion kya hota hai? Suppose if I say A, B and C are in continued proportion, then A upon B is equal to B upon C or B square is equal to AC. So, in lines, we will sum solve these lines. So, we will assume the number of numbers we will assume karte hai, X. So, we say let the number to be subtracted okay so let the number to be subtracted be x now we have to subtract karna hai 5 7 and 10 okay so if you subtract x from 5 7 and 10 we say the remainders would be Ajha, remaining kya numbers aayenge <coughs> it will be 5 minus x 7 minus x and 10 minus x so these three remainders are there right after subtracting x from 5 7 and 10 now these three are in continued proportion so we say we see are in continued proportion okay Yani ki A ho gai A, B, C are in continued proportion. So you get A upon B equal to B upon C. So therefore I could say 5 minus X upon 7 minus X is equal to 7 minus X upon 10 minus X. Now let us cross multiply. So you get 5 minus X into 10 minus x and ye agar multiply karte hai, so you get 7 minus x the whole square let's multiply this now open the brackets so you have 50 minus 5x minus 10x plus x square and use the expansion a minus b the whole square so aapko milega 49 minus 14x plus x square now x square gets cancelled ये हो जाता है 50 minus 15x और यहाँ बचता है 49 minus 14x. Now bring the x terms on one side तो ये हो जाएगा 50 minus 49 equals 15x minus 14x. Now 15x minus 14x gives me x और ये जो difference है वो है one. So the number which has to be subtracted is 1. So you take the number to be subtracted from 5, 7 and 10 as x. Remainders bachenge 5 minus x, 7 minus x, 10 minus x. Now these three remainders hai, unse banta hai a continued proportion. This is given. Okay. That is a by b equal to b by c. Then simply cross multiply, open the brackets and you get the required number as 1. 